Thousands of Southeast Texas students and teachers went back to school today as COVID cases and hospitalizations reach historic highs. Now, no Southeast Texas schools have implemented mask mandates. Port Arthur ISD perhaps came the closest when the superintendent took to Facebook yesterday to plead with parents and ask to have their kids mask up. Students today at Memorial High School had mixed feelings about this first day. They flooded the halls. Masks and dust shields are easily available for students throughout Memorial. Some students found that they're excited to be back there in person as virtual learning made their ability to learn uh, pretty difficult. Others say they still worry about the dangers of in-person learning. Memorial's principal, Melissa Oliva, told 12 News they're prepared to go virtual if the situation changes. Silsby ISD also had their first back to school day today. Students and staff were excited to be back in the classroom. Silsby seniors felt extra special when they got escorted to school through this drive by parade. Some students even decorated their cars. The bittersweet moment left kids realizing that this was their last first day. We all just cried in the parking lot before coming up here. We're all pretty sad, but we know we're going to go and do great things after high school. Students say they're ready for football games and events where they can be with their friends and hopefully get back to some normalcy. Silsby and Port Arthur ISD weren't the only ones celebrating first days today. Here's a look at some of the other Southeast Texas districts that returned today, including Vider, Bridge City, Buna, Orangefield, and West Orange Cove. Tomorrow, districts like Nederland and Hampshire Finette return. Parents, we'd love to see your back to school photos. Text them to 409-838-1212 and we'll be sharing them tomorrow on Daybreak.